Hey guys, uh, King Dedede here, and uh, I just recently woke up. It's like a little after six in the morning, and I kind of passed out early last night. I was just guess I was worn out, and I realized something. I never really got hydrated last night. I drank a little bit of water once I came off work and just kind of passed out. And I'm thinking. I think that's a bit enough of a reason for me to try out uh, one of these new hydration things I got from Gamer Subs. The one that caught my attention the most is probably Meat Canyon's uh, raw meat flavored uh, Gamer Subs thing. They come in caffeine, fr caffeine and caffeine free, but I always get the caffeine free so I can just enjoy these like after work or uh, in the mornings, especially with how active I am in my job. Ooh, I'm thinking. I think this would be pretty fun to try. So, let's try it out. Get the light on my ear. I got three others here that I'm going to try to after. Not, not afterwards, but like I'll make another video for them. So, let me just uh, put that right there. Yeah, there you go. And open this up. Uh, this is how it looks. It looks pretty neat. Ooh, yeah, that's way too early. Uh, free at least, but lately I've been waking up around the same time too. I don't know if maybe it's my circadian rhythm going off or... I'm not sure. Oh, hey. Right off the bat, I'm getting like a... I want to say watermelon? Watermelon and uh, melon flavored, if that makes any sense. That's how it looks. Very bright... It's for me. It's red, but on the with the light on, it looks like a light pink. You know, without it, it's pink. But yeah, to me, uh, like outside of the cameras, uh, it's like a almost orangish red. Oh hey, they come with a little. Uh, I guess like a little oxygen thing for it. This is neat. I think it's pretty cool. And the scooper is down here. I think you can try. So it's a little bit of a mess, but I have an idea. Move one of these out of the side. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just try and see if I can fish it out real quick. I was going to use a different scooper, but I realized that would probably add to the flavor if there's a little bit of that flavor in there, especially with how concentrated it is. So I'm like, eh. Much as it'd be neat to do uh, different combinations to try them out and stuff. I also noticed one thing about a lot of these uh, caffeine... I'm not sure if every one of them has it, but if you look inside... Like right there, there's little like, there's like little white dots inside of it, and I'm not quite sure what that is or what they're for. But my best guess is maybe it's for like a, maybe it's like a, the nutrients or some vitamins and stuff with how concentrated this thing is. It could be. So anyways, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add some of it. I found out I've also been doing this wrong to uh, wrong as well. Turns out. While there is a hundred servings in here, each serving is only meant to be for an eight ounce string. So if you want essentially like a full size water bottle added in, you know, the, the 16.9 fluid ounces, it's essentially then you put two of them. So it's really, it's like 50 servings if you want a full water bottle's worth. But I'm stick, for me, I'm still going to stick with the uh, wood scoop for water bottle. That way I can get plenty of water and basically a day's worth of hydration in it too. Add that in there. And then we'll try two scoops in for an actual flavor. I've always thought it was that, but looking further into it, I was like, oh no, it's supposed to be a two of them. So really it's 50, 50 ounces if like if you get 50 full water bottles basically. Because <laughs> I don't really know anyone who just gets I don't know if there's like mini shakers for this or not, but for me I've always had the actual I've always had like a full one. So about 39 bucks. Yeah, $36 or 39 bucks basically for 50 servings. It's not too bad. So I'm going to add that in there. I think you like a tiny bit. There you go. And then you just move this off to the side. Oh, here, let me do this real quick. There you go. Yeah, it's very much a... Watermelon and like uh, melon. Yeah, just watermelon and melon. <laughs> I forgot what is it? Uh, 
that's yeah, what it's supposed to be actually is a mix of both but it gives almost like a cucumber melon type thing or not so much cucumber there's a slight slight amount of it. it's basically that smell and it's like oh yeah it's pretty good and then you add in your water see what color this turns into uh, the past couple of ones I've done so far have been very much colorless, except for one, which was the first ever one I got. And that was a bright orange one. This is how it looks. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then add your shaker top. Add your this thing onto it. Then you add the top on there, and then you essentially just shake it. Make sure it's tight. And then just shake it up. I think it'd be pretty neat to try. Though I'm probably gonna drink the whole thing. Uh, what's it called? I, I'd still probably enjoy it in a lot. I'm gonna give a sip, a full size flavor sip. Basically, two scoops, one bottle's worth of water. This is how it's supposed to taste. Oh, it looks pretty good. Really good. I'm curious to see how it tastes. I think it'd be pretty good. And, uh, here we are, guys. I believe it's ready. The Meat Canyon's raw meat flavored uh, gamer steps. One more shake. Just to be sure. And here we go. Yeah, I think now it changed color even more. It's more like a bright red now. Pretty neat. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's actually really, really good. It's a sweet melon. At first, when you smell like uh, the flavor powdering in it, it's very much like not really watermelon. It's more like a uh, what are those yellow like? I think they're just called melons. Or, do you like the yellow melons too? And yellow. It reminds me of that where you wouldn't think it would it would taste sweet, but it actually is. It's like sweet watermelon and then melon on top of that. That's really really good actually. Hmm. So the scent's accurate, but to me, since you don't really smell how sweet it is, it just smells like like watermelon. No, not watermelon. It smells like just uh, uh, that yellow melon that the uh, people usually eat. That's not really sweet at all. It smells exactly like that. You don't really smell watermelon, so you don't think, oh, it's going to be a sweet. You think you're actually eating like a, or you're actually drinking like the yellow melon flavor, but it's not like that at all. It's actually really, really good. So when you do that, it's a surprising amount of sweetness in there with the, the watermelon. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's a mm. melon flavored with the watermelon. It's actually really, really good. Honestly, Me King did a really good job, especially if it's supposed to emphasize uh, how the summer is supposed to be. And he was right about the description, reading that on there and saying, hey, you want to try this? And what flavor is, and it's like, and you see the flavor, or you see the name of it, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely going to taste good. And then you try it, and you're like, watermelon? And melon on top of that? What on earth is this? So yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it definitely caught me off guard, but I'd say it's worth it. It's a really good uh, summer flavor, and I'm not sure if it's going to be a limited time thing only, or if it's a permanent menu on there, but if you do get it, I highly recommend it. The name throws you off. The smell throws you off, and the flavoring is really, really good. But again, it definitely throws you off because uh, from that you're really, you're really expecting like that yellow melon flavor, but not the watermelon flavor. So when I tried that, and you taste both. It's actually really, really good. Mm. One more drink now for that. But I'd say we're good. Check it out. Uh, it's on there. It's on the site, and uh, I think there's also a cup on there too that goes with it. You should check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, have a good day.